Hi YouTube, it's Carrie, Lady VSG, here with my week 20 update. Today is August 25th, 2015. I had my vertical sleeve gastrectomy surgery down in Tijuana, Mexico on April 6, 2015 with Dr. Ariel Ortiz at the Obesity Control Center. Uh, I'm really sorry I didn't do an update last week. I try to do my updates on Mondays. Last Monday I had food poisoning due to a terrible decision at like midnight the night before. I was just really craving some nachos from a fast food place and by 10 a.m. the next morning I was really regretting that decision. So I ended up not doing a video last week um, and then Wednesday I went to the World Science Fiction and Fantasy Convention and I was there until Sunday. Um, it was up in Spokane, Washington. So this year, it changes every year, so this year it was called Sasquan, you know, because it was in Spokane and Sasquatch is kind of a thing up here. Um, so I thought I would talk today about what worked and what didn't work for me in terms of being gone and away from my home environment and my usual routine, because we left, we left first thing Wednesday morning and we got back, like I walked in my front door at 10 p.m. Sunday night, so I was gone for five days. Um, so in terms of what kind of worked, I knew I didn't want to spend a whole lot of money eating out. Like I would rather spend my spending money on stuff. Like, um, so I, I did buy, I bought a little fascinator hat, like one of those cute little like mini top hats and it's got feathers and it's got this big like jeweled brooch on it. You know, I think it's great. I also bought, um, a leather like underbust harness. So it's, it's the sort of thing that like gunslingers, like a lady gunslinger would wear. And then I bought a matching belt so I could theoretically put like a holster or something on there. Cause I think in the future, I, I didn't dress up this time, but in the future I do want to dress up as basically, um, there's a character in this book series. The books are by Seanan McGuire. She wrote a bunch of short stories, um, starring this, this character, Fran. Um, they're sort of short stories, prequels for her encrypted series. Anyway, so basically, if you're imagining Fran, essentially she's Laura Ingalls Wilder who throws knives instead of being a gunslinger. Um, she used to work for the circus and stuff. Anyway, so that's kind of the vibe that I'm going for. So I ended up spending, I wanted to spend my money on that kind of stuff and not on food. So I tried not to eat out a whole lot. I did have my Starbucks gift card so I could go to Starbucks. When we did eat out, I did my best to order just really high protein things. So I would order typically off the appetizer menu. I mean, I got a, an order of ribs one time. Um, we went out to a restaurant called Perkins and I just got a side of smoked sausage, which was great. When we went to an Italian restaurant, I split an entree with one of my friends. And, you know, even then I didn't eat a whole lot. It was tortellini, but you know, it was cheese tortellini. So there was some protein and stuff in there. But it, so that was my really carby meal. And I just made sure to really eat in moderation, just have like a, a, an appropriately sized portion for me. And it worked out. I didn't have any sort of, you know, um, GI symptoms or anything like that from just eating a really carby meal. So I think I did a good job there. Um, I did drink a bunch of soda while I was there because I'm not drinking alcohol and we spent a lot of time in the bar. Um, so I'm not having the issue with this, the carbonation in soda anymore. I, I don't think I'm going to start buying it again. You know, it's, it's not a habit I really want to fall back into, but it was nice that at this point, you know, I could go to a bar and you know, I was, I was just ordering diet Cokes and things and it wasn't giving me any sort of digestive pyrotechnics like last time. So that was nice. So that, that was something I figured out. I think in the future, you know, honestly, if I'm going to a bar and just, again, it would take me a while to drink that whole soda. So I think in the future, I might just budget the calories for it and get like a Shirley Temple or something a little fancier. But so I brought a bunch of stuff with me because I knew, you know, like I can't eat a whole lot. And so when we would, when we did go out to dinner and stuff, it's, it's weird because it's sort of like, I don't want to impose on my friends. It was really great that Sarah offered that one time we went to the Italian restaurant, like, Hey, do you want to split something? Because like, I, I can't finish an entree. I couldn't even finish my appetizer of ribs the time, you know, and I feel less comfortable 
asking my friends, hey, do you want to share something with me than I do with my family who at this point, my family will like straight up tell me, oh, uh, let's get this one to share, you know, because they know I'm not like, I'm not really a picky eater. And so, and I think that's part of it. Like I'm, I, I don't want to say that I'm a, like a cowardly baby, but I don't have any problem being bossed around by my family or, you know, or my friends or something, but it's weird for me to sort of take that more assertive position and say, I need to split something. Is anyone interested? So I did bring a bunch of snacky things. And then that way I could either just sit at the table with them and be like, Oh, it's okay. Like I already ate or, um, sometimes I just didn't go. Cause I was like, I don't feel like it. So that, that helped. But so some of the things that I brought that really worked out for me, a, since it was a convention and there were going to be like thousands of people there with all of their germs. And one time when I went to the Penny Arcade Expo up in Seattle, I'm one of the lucky ones that came home with swine flu. Um, so I always take, uh, my sister told me about taking probiotics during convention seasons, like, well, conventions while you're there, like start taking them a day or two before and then continue taking them like a couple days afterwards. These are, um, knockoff brand Culturel. I think Culturel is like the big brand. These are just like some generic store brand ones that I found because they were cheaper. Anyway, so take your probiotics. I also took some Airborne every day. I like this one because um, it's the tablet ones. I've seen the ones that are powder and this fits easier in my luggage because I'm a chronic overpacker. Um, so what else did I take? So I bought this off of Amazon. These are those, the nuts that I'm a big fan of. Um, and because the little ziploc -y top nuts that I can find at the grocery store, you know, they're like $8 for six ounces. This was, I don't know. I want to say it was like 25, maybe $30. It's 38 ounces. So it's like 2.375 pounds or one kilogram. But anyway, I mean, as you can see, I didn't make much of a dent in it, but I had a good supply of almonds and that, so that was helpful. I just, I had little snack size Ziplocs and I would make sure that I had a couple baggies of almonds and it's, it's really easy to, you know, to just open up and kind of snack on as you're walking around. So that was great. I stocked up on a bunch of jerky. This is the brand that I like cause the jerky's softer. Um, and these are the black cherry barbecue ones, but these crave jerkies. The downside of jerky is that it's kind of expensive. I want to say these were like $7 a piece. So, I mean, I stocked up on them. I think I bought three, three or four, you know, and I still have two left because I can't eat, you know, a ton of it. But so I've got jerky, but I highly recommend jerky. You know, the downside with both nuts and jerky with nuts, there's a part of me that's always like, what if somebody around me is allergic to nuts? And I felt kind of weird about like, am I going to ruin someone's day by eating these nuts in a big public area? And the jerky's kind of, um, it has a smell, you know, like meat has a smell. And so like, I, I try to be a considerate convention goer. So those were things that I typically just had in my hotel room or had in my bag. And like, I wasn't, I would eat them at the hotel or, you know, in the, the restaurant, not so much like on the convention floor. And when we were on the convention floor, I mean, I had stocked up on quest bars. I went to vitamin shop cause they have they're more expensive to buy individually, but this way I could get a sampling of different flavors. Um, these are the peanut butter Supreme. I did really like those. So, um, anyway, so I got a bunch of request bars and tried the cinnamon roll one, which I thought was delicious. I loved that. So whoever recommended those to me, thank you. Um, I picked up, I love mango. These ones, I was kind of bummed. I couldn't find unsweetened dried mango. So these are sweetened, which was, you know, like mango didn't, it didn't really need that much extra sugar. This was kind of bummed that it's a second ingredient. Oh, second and third sugar and powdered sugar. That's whatever. That's ridiculous. Anyway, but so dried fruit. Um, I did have, I think there were dried apples and, um, dried pineapple. And those ones didn't, I, I found that did not have sugar added. So that's why the mango still didn't get open. But dried fruit was a good one that I carried around in my little convention tote bag. Um, these, I was so excited to find these. I'm not really a raisin person, especially plain raisins. And if they're in cookies, I hate them. I won't eat cookies that have raisins in them. And I'm sure it's because I usually think they're chocolate chips. And then I get angry because they're not chocolate chips. They're disgusting raisins. However, you know what I really like are these yogurt, like chocolate covered yogurt raisins. These were good. And so I got these, it was a little pack of like six. 
Um, they were like the perfect size. I couldn't like, if I was, if I hadn't eaten, I could finish a whole box. These are like, yeah, they're one ounce boxes. Um, if I had been eating other things, I might not be able to finish the box. But so these were good. These were a good little thing to throw in my, um, in my purse. And I really liked those. I also really liked that I found little tiny craisins and I, I love craisins and they're sweet and you know, they're, they're kind of sugary. Let's see. Yeah. 20 grams of sugar in one box calories 100 so I mean obviously super carby but it was a good little snack just to like help me get through the day you know since I was basically just snacking all day as opposed to eating my regular meals and things and then the last thing that I brought which I thought would be a good I thought I was gonna be awesome and like this so this this goes under the things that didn't really work I brought a couple vias because usually when you go to a hotel like whatever coffee they have in there in the coffee maker in your room is usually not that great. It turned out, so we stayed at this super swanky hotel. It was the, the Davenport Grand. Um, it was not inexpensive. Even with the, even with the convention rate, I think it was like $150 a night. Like normally it's 200 and something, you know, like this was a swanky hotel. Um, there was no coffee maker in the room. There was no microwave in the room and there was no fridge in the room. And so that was frustrating. I always, I mean, whenever I make reservations, I tell them I need a mini fridge in the room because of, I, of my medications, blah, blah, blah. And yes, it's a lie. But typically it's because when I go to these things, I have food that I want to refrigerate and I don't want to get dinged because sometimes those mini bars have the weights in them and that's how they, um, figure out if you've been taking things out of the mini bar or not. And so I try to tell them like, I need the mini bar emptied. And I found the most effective way to get the point across is to, you know, if I'm like, Oh, I want to bring my own food. Like sometimes they're jerks about it. And so I have found if I tell them I have medication that I need to keep in the mini fridge, they don't argue with me and they will empty out the mini fridge and then I can use it. They didn't even have a mini fridge in this room. So that was kind of a bummer. So something else that I brought that didn't work was I, I, I didn't want to bring my, my whole cooler because I was carpooling up with my two friends, um, Sarah and Syl, and I knew like three of us in one car, we were all going to have a bunch of stuff. So I was trying to keep my things as minimal as possible. Um, I, so I brought my little lunchbox with like my big frozen ice packs and stuff. And I just had a couple, like two of those, um, there were the Tillamook individually wrapped one ounce cheeses. And so I had those in there with a couple layers of ice packs and it worked great for Wednesday and into Thursday. But then my ice packs started to thaw. I mean, they're not the kind that melt like, so it wasn't messy, but it was just, they weren't cold anymore. And I forgot to go get ice just out of the ice machine at the hotel. And so by Saturday, when I remembered like, oh yeah, that thing is full of my cheese. They were super warm and I just threw them away. So that, that didn't work out. Um, and it didn't occur to me that there would be a hotel room that didn't have a coffee maker and a mini fridge. So that was a bummer that, So that, that didn't really work out for me. So now I know in the future not to assume that there will be those kinds of facilities for me to use and just plan on, you know, it, it ended up working out. Okay. I had, I had good protein stuff with me between the protein bars and the jerky and the, you know, the craisins and the raisins and the dried fruit. So overall, it, it did work out really well. Oh, I didn't tell you my weight. Okay, so this week, yesterday, I weighed in at 207.7. My starting weight was 301.8. My day of surgery, I weighed in at 272. So overall, well, okay, so over the last, I, I suppose, two weeks, because I didn't weigh in last week because I had food poisoning and I thought the scale would not be accurate. Um, so over the last two weeks, I lost a total of five pounds. And overall, since I started this whole journey with the, the pre-op diet and everything, I've lost 94.1 pounds. So I'm, I'm excited. I don't know how much of that five pound weight loss was between last week and this week and how much of it was, you know, be, you know, cause, and the food poisoning thing really kind of screwed up my weight management project, whatever. Um, my weight tracking, there we go. <laughs> so, but I was excited. I didn't act, I actually, you know, I, I prepared, unlike when I went to my brother's wedding and I ended up gaining a pound, I still lost 
So, or at least I maintained, you know, even if I lost all the, all five pounds the previous week, I didn't gain any while I was at the convention. So like I, I did a much better job this time planning, preparing, and then actually sticking to my plan. I, I took workout clothes. Once again, I did not work out, but the upside of a big nerd convention like this is I did a ton of walking. So I, I got my steps in most days or pretty close to, I, I always got around 10,000 steps. My step goal is to 12,000. So some days I didn't hit it, but I was getting a decent amount of walking in. I did really well with my food. So I'm really happy with that. So hopefully this video has helped anybody who's going to be going on any kind of trip, anything like that. Like these are my recommendations. Obviously this is much more geared towards those of you who are already on eating anything, you know, cause if you're on soft foods and whatnot, like you're obviously not going to be able to eat almonds and I don't know about the protein bars. I didn't really do protein bars while I was, while I was on soft food. So, but anyway, hopefully this gave you some ideas. I hope you're all doing well and I will check in again with you guys next week. Bye.